If you've played Witcher 3, then you may be familiar with one very particular easter egg that stands out from the rest. I'm of course talking about the time when Ciri hinted at one of the dimensions she stumbled upon during hiding was a world whose description was very reminiscent of something you might see in a cyberpunk setting. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, here's the scene in question. I fled through many worlds, many times. They came very close to catching me once. It was then that Avalach appeared, out of nowhere. He found a portal, and took us to a world where Eridin couldn't find us for, oh, perhaps half a year. The world where Eridin couldn't find you, what was it like? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. People there had metal in their heads, waged war from a distance, using things similar to megascopes, and there were no horses. Everyone had their own flying ship instead. Siri, stop fooling around. Told you you wouldn't believe me. <sighs> we should have stayed there. I mean, the stuff she's referencing is pretty clear cut. People with metal in their heads, aka cyberware, waged war from a distance, aka guns, used similar things to megascopes, aka wireless communication, flying ships, aka aerodynes. It's the world of cyberpunk, all right. So with this information out there, a lot of people began to get excited about the prospect of Siri making a cameo in Cyberpunk 2077, wondering if this would at all be a possibility. Now, this is a topic that actually came up during Polygon's interview with CD Projekt Red that followed the 50 minutes private presentation of Cyberpunk 2077 at E3 2018. When the interviewer asked game director Adam Badowski, quote, so when should players of Cyberpunk 2077 expect to bump into Siri? First things first, he cited the fact that he actually hates this question, probably because it gets asked all the time. When he finally went into detail, here's how he put it. We are not Kingdom Hearts, we are not joining universes, and I know that there are a lot of fans on the team and they would like to have Siri in the game, but I am totally against it, still. Now, what's interesting is that they didn't leave it at a definite no. Marcin Iwinski, co-founder and CEO of CD Projekt Red, who also participated in the interview, put a hand on Adam Badowski's shoulder and said, maybe you will change your mind. He then turned to the interviewer and said, there is a little hope there. So it looks like for now, as far as the game director is concerned, he'd much rather that Siri not make an appearance in Cyberpunk 2077. But it does seem as though there are plenty of people within the team who'd like to see her make at least a brief appearance in light of the seed that they planted in Witcher 3, hinting that she did travel to the Cyberpunk universe. It may not be up to them though, if Adam Badowski strictly says no to this proposition, then it's very likely that it will not happen. My take on this is that there should be a compromise and that Adam and team should meet somewhere in the middle. Maybe it would be a little too distracting if Siri was featured too prominently. I don't think it's realistic to expect that we're gonna get an entire side quest revolving around Siri and interacting with her. However, I think if they fleetingly mention someone of her description, that could strike a good balance. Do what Witcher 3 did with Cyberpunk, don't strictly say what it is, but reference it enough where people can immediately make the connection. So maybe have players talk to an NPC and have him or her talk about a strange occurrence where they saw some girl with silver hair and a scar across her left eye, carrying a sword and wearing ragged clothes, appearing out of nowhere before disappearing half a year later to never be seen again. Half a year being how long she supposedly stayed in this world based on series dialogue from Witcher 3. I think that just an acknowledgement of her traversal to the world of cyberpunk would be enough to satisfy fans. Don't get me wrong, as cool as it would be to see Siri in the flesh, I do somewhat agree with Adam about the fact that the world of Witcher and Cyberpunk should stay as separate as possible, that these worlds shouldn't be treated like they're interconnected, as if this were Kingdom Hearts or something within that vein. At the same time though, CD Projekt did plant the seed in Witcher 3, and that was their choice entirely, so it would be cool to at least make some acknowledgement of that in Cyberpunk. Make it vague and obscure enough that it's not distracting, but prominent enough that people will immediately go, aha! I guess only time will tell 
tell if Adam Badowski remains resolute on not featuring Siri as a character in Cyberpunk 2077, or if the team will find a way to change his mind or come up with a compromise that will satisfy both sides. For me, again, just the mention of someone having met up with this strange silver-haired girl with a sword a few years back would be satisfactory. I personally don't really need to see the protagonist V fully meeting up and interacting with Siri per se. That's just me anyway, I'd love to hear in the comments below to what extent you think Siri should be featured in Cyberpunk 2077, after which her three referenced her traversing to this dimension. With that, I would like to end this news update. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoy my content and would like to support this channel directly, consider donating on Patreon. And to be further updated on all things gaming news, news, reviews, and discussions. Stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.